All right, welcome back, everybody. So we are continuing work on our 1977 Honda CT70 uh, that we're putting a Lifen 125 semi-automatic engine in. <clears throat> if you've watched other videos on this bike, uh, it didn't have an engine. It did not have an exhaust. It was pretty much complete other than that. So I have picked up just one of the cheap $60 eBay Chinese exhaust. I've had pretty good luck with them. Uh, I know a lot of people, you know, rag on them, but I, 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 I don't mind them. So I, that's what I'm going to use. The problem with when you use the life and engine in one of these is that this exhaust was designed to fit on a stock 70 cc engine, 72 cc engine. So uh, when you go to put it on Lifen, the Lifen is a little longer because of the strokes a little longer. So the mount up here is pushed forward. I'm, I'm not really sure, half inch, five eighths of an inch, something along those lines. And so when you put the exhaust in it, we don't line up back here. Uh, let me grab you guys and, so you can get a little bit better. Hang on just a second. All right, so now I've got you zoomed in. So let me put the exhaust back up in the front. And you can see the slotted hole that they have in here doesn't, won't reach the, uh, won't reach the mounting bolt right there. So some people, you know, cut this or whatever and just get it to barely fit or they add a little piece of steel here to make a spacer. I, I can weld. Uh, I have a welder. I'm not a welder, um, but I can do it, get it well enough to, to relocate this. So I'm going to cut this bracket off and move the whole thing back. I don't know. Uh, to get to the center of the hole, about three-fourths of an inch, maybe. So... That's what this today's video is going to be. We're going to uh, take the shield, the cover off, go back, cut that bracket off, move it back, re-weld it, repaint it, install it, and see what it looks like. All right, so I've got just a angle grinder with a cutoff wheel on it, and we're just going to have to make a couple slices on both sides of this bracket to cut the cut the weld loose. Obviously, if you're not comfortable with that, take it to your local welding shop and they should be able to knock that out for you. Uh, I want to switch pieces of equipment here. Sorry, didn't have it, should have had it ready. So I've got another angle grinder with just a uh, flap wheel sander and just going to knock, knock down all that excess burr and stuff that's on there.
And on this piece, you just got to get the paint off so you can uh, get a good penetration on your weld. Now, as you can see right here, they've welded a, a bigger piece of thicker steel onto the muffler that this was welded to. So you don't really have to worry too much about trying, you know, about getting down into the muffler because you'd have to cut through the weld, cut through that plate, and then into the muffler. So, all right. I'm going to shut you off. I'm going to kind of make some measurements, get uh, set up here, and then we will weld that piece back on. I've got the exhaust bolted to the engine. I've got the bracket kind of loosely put in the middle. I've got my welder here. I'm just going to bring those two up where they kind of meet. Just gonna tack that on there for right now. All right, it'll take me a second to get that off, get that unbolted off there. Let me get it unbolted and I'll bring you back and we're gonna weld it. Step in front of me, sorry. So, as stated earlier, I'm not a professional welder. But that'll do it for me. I'll uh, let that cool off and get that repainted. Make sure it fits. Now that I finally welded it. Okay, you guys aren't even looking up there now. Let me get you reset here. Bam, that's exactly what we want right there. All right, we still got a little more work to do to this exhaust. Uh, so we're gonna continue. I'll show you a couple other things I do to this. So the next thing I do on this exhaust is I'm going to paint the little recessed area where these circles are at on the original 77 exhaust. Um, it was chrome with the recessed area was painted black and it had the circles uh, really the only difference is it has um, slots instead of circles on this end so just to kind of make it look a little more stockish um, we're going to just 
spray this with some flat black and kind of fill this in just just these two spots right here so let me get that done let it dry and then we'll bring you back and show you the uh, what it looks like and then i've got one other thing i do to the exhaust and then we'll be done well apparently i thought i hit the start button on my camera and did not so i did not film the last part but it's pretty simple i just go in here and drill a few that's gonna be dark I, I drill a few holes get my finger out of the way around the outside just to kind of let a little more flow out the end of the exhaust uh, i don't know that it really helps performance wise but it just kind of gives it a little deeper throatier sound uh, and i like that but that's the exhaust all buttoned up and put back on the bike so if you go that route and need to change that mount there on the shock that's that's kind of how i do it how uh, i think it looks the cleanest when you're done now one thing if you use these exhausts and you put them on an early bike remember to take out the little spacer um, that is bolted on like the k0s k1s and, and so forth up to I want to say 75, or I'm sorry, 76 or 77, um, this bracket was straight, and there was a little spacer that was bolted onto that stud, and then the exhaust, and then, and so it, uh, to kind of help space the exhaust away from the shock. Well, you don't need it with this little dog leg bracket that they have on these. You can take that off. So, uh, you know, I get guys that message me, hey, why does the exhaust stick, stick so far out? Well, that's because you've got that extra inch and a half spacer in there. So, anyway, thanks for following along. Uh, it, hopefully this helps somebody if you're going to use this exhaust. And uh, if you've got any questions, let me know. Guys, see you on the next video.